Okay, here we go. We are going to be talking about the world of double replacement. Um, this is a very common um, type of reaction, and it usually takes place in water. How you identify it, I am going to look for two ionic compounds. Ionic compounds are compounds that have a cation and an anion that are reacting together. And that's kind of what I drew here for you. Here's A would be your cation, B is an anion, or X is, B is a cation, Y is an anion. And what's going to happen here is the cations and the anions are going to switch partners, kind of like that bad prom example I gave you. And so A is going to go to Y, and B is going to combine with X. And I'm going to still write them the way I'm supposed to write them, I'm going to write cation first, anion second, cation first, anion second. And notice how X over on this side is paired with A. Now X is paired with B. Got it? So let's take a look at this. How do I write this? Um, hydrochloric acid. I'm guessing you're thinking about this. I would write HCl plus sodium hydroxide. Sodium is Na, hydroxide is OH. Hydrogen is plus one, chloride is minus one, so this is okay. Sodium is plus one, hydroxide is minus one, that's okay. And so these are going to react. And what do I get? Sodium is going to combine with the chloride, and I'm going to get sodium chloride plus and then hydrogen combines with OH and here's a little secret H plus OH is always going to give you what? Yes! Water. Okay, so there's your compound. I'm going to think now do I need to balance it? Well yes you do. Sodium, I have one sodium Let's put this on. One sodium, one sodium, one, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one oxygen, one oxygen, one chlorine, one chlorine. All the coefficients are one. It's balanced. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Sodium sulfide. That is N-A-S. Sodium is plus... 1, sulfide is minus 2, so I need Na2S plus ammonium chloride. Ammonium is NH4, chloride is Cl. All right, ammonium is plus 1, chloride is minus 1. That's okay. So what's going to happen? We're going to switch partners here. I get Sodium is going to combine with chlorine, and I'm going to get ammonium combining with sulfide. Sodium is plus 1, chloride is minus 1, that's written okay. Ammonium is plus 1, sulfide is minus 2, so I need two of those. All right, and then we got to talk about balancing. Well, I've got two ammoniums and only one over here, so I think I probably need a two there. That gives me two chlorides, and I need a two there then, and that gives me two sodium. Guess what? I've got two sodiums. I'm balanced. Okay? Now, since most double replacement reactions take place in water, we can write substances in ionic form. Um, to get a better picture of who is spectating and who is dancing in the reaction. And what you need are a set of solubility rules, which I think you have. And what we're going to do is we're going to write the balanced double replacement reaction. Then we're going to split it and write the full ionic equation. And then finally we're going to write the net ionic equation. So, here's 
the first problem from the worksheet that you're working on. You've got potassium phosphate plus aluminum nitrate. And if it's a double replacement reaction, then the potassium is going to go with the nitrate. Aluminum is going to go with the phosphate. And so I have potassium nitrate and aluminum phosphate. Potassium is plus 1, nitrate is minus 1, so KNO3 is the way to write that. Aluminum is plus 3, phosphate is minus 3. That's how I write that. Then to balance, since I have 3 potassiums, 3 nitrates, put a 3 in front of the potassium nitrate. Okay? So far, so good? Alright, now, is potassium phosphate soluble? Well, if you look at rule number one, it says all salts of group 1A. Potassium is a 1A element, so yes, it is. Aluminum nitrate. Look at rule two. All salts of nitrates are soluble. So yes, that's soluble. Potassium nitrate, that's rule one and two. Potassium is group one, it's soluble. Nitrate, soluble. Aluminum phosphate, if you go down to rule number five, all salts of phosphates are insoluble. So this is not soluble. It does not dissolve in water. That's why I have a little S after it. So next, you're going to split what is dissolving and leave together what is not dissolving. So potassium phosphate, I have three potassium ions, one phosphate ion. I have one aluminum ion and three nitrate ions. I have three potassium ions, three nitrate ions, and I have particles of aluminum phosphate. That would be solid sitting on the bottom of the beaker. Now, I want to cross off spectator ions and then write what's left. A spectator ion is one that is the same on each side of the reaction arrow here. So if I look at, I've got 3K, 3K. I have 3NO3, I have 3NO3. And what that leaves me with is PO4 minus, 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 plus AL plus, 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 and that's producing ALPO4. This is aqueous, this is aqueous, and this would be a solid. That's a net ionic equation. Ah.